What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News. And I got some new news for you. Um, you know, we've been talking about the whole Wilder and Fury thing and the possibility of that fight being made and how close it's being made. And, you know, and both of these guys want this fight. And, you know, and we've, always, we've already discussed that um, if Wilder wins, he'll have a better bargaining chip, you know, to ask for more money because this is what it's about, prize fighting, more money, right? Well, let's look on the other side. Let's look to see what if Fury wins. What if Fury outboxes Deontay Wilder? You know, what if he shows him up? What if he knocks him out? Who knows? You know, did anybody know that Hopkins was going to knock out Trinidad when he did it or Delahoya when he did it? You know, um, these are the things that you might not expect, but it happens sometimes in the sport of boxing. And what led me to make this video today is that I just got through watching. Um, I think it was seconds out and it was um, a media day, you know, and, and uh, Tyson Fury's full workout from sparring to the heavy bag to the cardiovascular. He was doing it all. And, you know, and I seen him hitting those pads, you know, and he was doing some good pad work and he looked real sharp, you know, and this was just recently. This was a couple of days ago. Right. So. This wasn't like something a couple years ago or how he did look back in the day before he took his long layoff. This was right now, you know, and he looked really impressive. You know what I'm saying? He really looked good and he looked quick. He looked sharp. And it almost looks funny that a big guy like that can move that quick. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it, it looks almost though it is, uh, you know, his punching. Because he's a lot taller than, you know, than as uh, than the pad guy. You know, the guy was holding the pads. He was a lot. He was a lot taller than him, but he was putting some pretty nice combinations together. Not saying Deontay Wilder is slow, because Deontay Wilder, that's one of his attributes. He has speed, right, along with the power and the windmill. So, you know. You have, uh, but you have Dyson Fury, you know, he's a decent puncher, like a lot of people call him a pillow puncher or whatever, but he, you know, he hits hard enough to keep you honest. And in fact, I thought about it. I, I kept thinking like, who does Tyson Fury remind me of? Who like, like, who does like, who does he look like? I mean, who does his fighting style emulate? And he looks like a much bigger orthodox Billy Joe Saunders. And, you know, that makes a lot of sense because both of those guys, you know, they, you know, they roll in the same flock. You know, they're good friends. You know, they support each other on, you know, when um, Tyson Fury was in Canada, when Billy Joe came over here and showed up David Lemieux. You know what I mean? So he came across that pond. So these guys support each other. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they train together. You know what I mean? Because they move just like it. And I've seen how that big guy moved, you know, and he moved just as quick as Billy Joe Saunders, even though Billy Joe's at 160. So, you know, it looks good. He, you know, he looked really well in there. His punches were, like, again, were sharp, were crisp. He had good combinations. You know, the only thing I see, if, if he makes a good effort, I think he has to get some rounds in. He has to get some rounds in, you know. Yeah, sure, he has to look good, but I think Tyson Fury would benefit him to at least get some rounds in, at least six to seven rounds. That would be adequate rounds and of experience to be back where you need to be. You know, not saying it's anything like being in the ring with Deontay Wilder because, you know, he doesn't know that until he gets in the ring with him. But he needs those rounds as experience. He needs the work. So the question is, Will he have enough time? You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, honestly, you know, will he, he legitimately have enough time to spar and to train? You know, so that's the major concern. But overall, it looks like a good fight, you know, because like I said, I was talking to my uh, um, my British friend, Alan, you know, on one of our podcasts is that, you know, Tyson Fury he has to pretty much do the same thing that Billy Joe Saunders did to Lemieux because Lemieux was the hard puncher. He wasn't as awkward as, 
you know, Wilder, but equivalent to that weight class, he was, you know, he's heavy handed. He's one of the hardest punchers, if not the hardest puncher in the middleweight division. So he has to do the same thing Billy Joe did to Lemieux. He has to do to Wilder. He has to use that ring. He has to use that jab, you know, and he has to stay away from that right hand. If he can do that, he can pull out a decision if he's in good enough shape. But let's say he does win. OK, he wins either by, uh, by, I would think, decision, you know, or by knockout. Surprisingly, like, OK, well, first one to ever beat Deontay Wilder. Sure, he's going to get more accolades because you know who Eddie Hearn, despite Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren's relationship together, they're going to look at Eddie Hearn is going to be so relieved that his boy Joshua didn't have to get in there with Wilder. It would be no point then. All the belts will be on that side of the pond again. The heavyweight division will go back dark unless someone can get a rematch. Unless Wilder can get a rematch with one of those guys. And if that's if they'll allow that to happen, right? So, you know, if that doesn't if it isn't allowed to happen, okay, well, the heavyweight division again goes back in the dark and everybody else will focus on the other weight classes. The heavyweight division will detach itself, you know, like an island away from the rest of the boxing community and then you will have a showdown in England to see who's the best, the lineal champion, new crown WBC champion, which is considered the, the, the elite belt, or the guy that has the rest of the belts, the other four champions, which is Anthony Joshua, you know, that's had two or three um, unification fights himself, you know, and has built himself up in his homeland, you know, so these two, it will, you know what, it will be a fight, it will be a very popular fight. It will be a civil war. You think about it. You know, both of these guys are coming from England, from the world, from the UK. And you're going to have like Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather fans. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have, you're going to pick one or the other. You know, but none to say Wembley will be sold out. They'll probably sell 100,000, over 90,000 seats. They'll make way to put other people or more people in that state, in that arena. You know, that will be big. You know, because then Tyson Fury will be known as the guy that knocked out the guy that some people think Anthony Joshua avoided, you know. And then, you know, and on this on this t note, Eddie Hearn will look at Brian Fury as an Avenger like, OK, well, hey, you know, you got rid of a problem. You got rid of our American problem. Right. You got rid of Deontay Wilder. So we don't have to fight him. You know what I mean? And, and again, I'm going to say it again and again. I'm the kind of person I don't believe in triangle theories. You know, I don't I didn't believe that Foreman can beat Ali just because Foreman beat Frazier and, F and Frazier beat Ali. Right. It doesn't work that way. So even if Tyson Fury does do this and he let's say he fights Anthony Joshua when he gets hurt or getting knocked out or whatever. Right. That does not mean Joshua's going to come over here and whoop Anthony. I mean, Deontay Wilder. It doesn't work that way. Styles make fights and for a reason they make fights. You know, but that will be a huge, massive fight if Fury wins. You know what I mean? He came over like Lennox Lewis did to fight Holyfield without the bullshit draw, right? Because that was BS. And, you know, and then take the belt. Take it back overseas, right? And I don't even know how they're, I don't even know if there's a rematch clause because we're not that far in the negotiations yet or whatever. But I tell you, it, you know, all the belts will be overseas. You know, Eddie Hearn will, will quietly exhale. And, you know, that the zone app will flourish simply because now there's no resistance from it. Then you have more American fighters that will want to come to the zone app because of that. You know, because really, if you think about it, Anthony Wilder is really was really the guy. He was the poster child for saying, you know, hey, this is what I think about the zone. You know what I mean? He was the only one talking about the zone and the app. And Eddie Hearn's a crook. You know what I mean? He has slave wages. So if he gets beat by Tyson Fury, that's not even with Hearn. You know what I mean? Hearn has won a secret war without even fighting it. So. It's, it will be something to see. So, you know, we're, we're looking at the, you know, the negative parts of, of, of uh, Tyson Fury and what if he's ready. But what if he is ready? What, you know, because you look at it like this, maybe, just maybe, 
Tyson Fury wouldn't have said anybody's name unless he was ready. You know what I mean? So I think he couldn't be ready because he knows, okay, well, I'm ready. I don't think I would call him out if I was that flabby and out of shape. And at one point, you wouldn't hear him mention Wilder nor Joshua nor anyone else. You know, so he might be in shape. So if we think positive about it, he might have had enough rounds in the bag. He might have had enough recuperation from his personal demons or whatever was going on with him, right? And he's ready to fight and show the best possible performance. So let's hope for that. So this is shines a light and, you know, some positive on the Tyson Fury and his condition. So anyway, you guys tell me what you think about this particular scenario. Please subscribe. Hit the bell icon and you guys been counterpunched. Peace.